Hopefully all the webheads out there are enjoying their holiday weekend. Why don't you take a minute and check out some more of my Spider-Man collection. Hey, all my webheads out there. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're going to be showing off some more of my Spider Man collection. It's not just the amazing Spider Man, it's all of my Spider-Man books and I think now we're on part five and we're getting towards the mid 350s when it comes to the amazing Spider-Man so we're getting into a lot of Mark Bagley stuff so guys before we jump into it here's a word from the sponsor Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader specializing in exclusive variants with over 900 exclusives in their store they ship worldwide on a daily basis. Their mandate is to offer the widest selection of exclusive variants on the planet along with top-notch customer service. If you guys enter promo code CORNER10, and not only can you save 10% on your first purchase, but every other purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives. MutantBeaverComics.com all right, Webhead, so here we go. Now, where we last left, left off was issue 360 in the Amazing Spider-Man run. And I have issue 361. It's kept away with Spider-Man 300. Those higher-priced comics are kept in special places so they don't get ruined. So, not showing you that one, but I do have issue 362, right? This is, what, the second full appearance of Carnage. Uh, still a nice-looking cover. Love the yellow background in here. I think it's very iconic. Mark Bagley, uh... Great time to be a Spider-Man fan at this time, man. It's so awesome. And then I have issue 363. Always love this cover with the three of them on there. And then you got the webbing in the background and whatnot. So really cool there. Awesome little boxes there. And it says, still so awesome. We had to put his name on the cover twice again. <laughs> Featuring Venom and Carnage, America's favorite killer symbiotes. And their wall crawling pal. So that's pretty cool, you know. So yeah, nice looking cover there. And then we have issue 364. So it takes a turn from the symbiote action. And it looks like Spider-Man is doing battle against the Shocker here. Uh, this is from the Deadly Foes of Spider-Man, the Shocker. So this, this was this little side story that was going on at the time. And it was called Deadly Foes of Spider-Man. And I think it had like the Shocker, the Beetle, and some of the other B-rated villains. Which, some of those villains I love. And this cover I really like too. So, pretty cool stuff there. Alright, and then this book right here, man. I, I, I mentioned this in an earlier video about books that I thought that were going to be worth a lot of money. And this was one of them. And this was that Amazing Spider-Man issue 365, that hologram cover. This book, I think, maybe has been taken out of its bag and board one time. Maybe to look at it or read it or whatever it is. This book is in perfect condition. Too bad it's not really worth that much. But still, you can see the hologram's all intact and it's all good. You know, bright black cover there. But yeah, that, it's just cool, man. It's just cool to have that book, right? And then we jump to 366 where we have Spider-Man is going against the Red Skull. And then you got Taskmaster right there, Norman Osborn. So yeah, pretty cool. So Mark Bagley artwork once again. And then we did uh, this um, book right here. This is issue 367. I, I love this cover. I, I don't know what it is. I forgot these guys' name. It says, even if they survive evil versions of Captain America, Hawkeye, and Spider-Man himself, the Web Slinger and, oh, it's Solo, still have to deal with the Red Skull. So that's pretty cool, right? So the evil versions of all the good guys. So that's cool. And then we have 368, Invasion of the Spider Slayers, part one of six. 
<laughs> you can't deny the spider slayers. So many different versions of them, right? Including myself. All right. And then we have 369, Invasion of the Spider Slayers, part two of six. We got Electro on this cover as well. Plus the Green Goblin. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then you have 370. Once again, Black Cat in the book. Mike Spider Slayer had to pick it up even back then, right? So, really nice looking cover. Not the first time these two teamed up to go battle against the Scorpion. So, that's an awesome looking book there, too. All right. And then we have issue 371, Invasions of the Spider Slayers, part four of six. This is now on sale twice a month. In case you don't know that yet, guys. You know, in fact, now it's three times a month. And then we have 372, part five of six of the Spider Slayers. I remember reading this story. I don't remember like what it really was about. Obviously, it's about the Spider Slayers, but I don't know if it was really that well done. So I'm not sure, but I do love this cover. This is issue 373. So where we have Spider-Man is hanging from webs. All right. And then we take some jumps here. So uh, I, I don't know if it's uh, I was a little bit older and I started losing interest in comics a little bit or I just couldn't get the books for a couple months. But here I have 377. I don't know where the other ones are, if I even have them, like I said. But that's cool as he has um, doing battle against Cardiac there. It sticks and Stones is in the book again. And then we have issue 378, another nice cover with these two. And this was, I guess, through subscription service. So for this book to be in the shape that it's in and the subscription service, which is pretty cool. And these are the ones that I subscribe to uh, because I highlighted them on the back back in the day. So they would come to me in the mail. <laughs> That's so awesome, dude. I totally forgot I did that. So in that time, Amazing Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Spider-Girl, Iron Man, and X-Man. Those were the, the few that I subscribed to. Wow, man. Gosh, that's awesome. And then I got issue 379. So we got that, too. That's a really nice cover with Deathlock and Demo Goblin. And then we have one that's not bagged and bored. I don't know why. This is issue 385. Meet Spidey's new pals. What's wrong with this picture? You guys know what's wrong with this picture? Let me know in the comments below. Issue 388. You know, we're reliving the 90s right now with all these foil covers. Here we go. Boom. Foil action. Right? 388, Life Theft, The Final Chapter, Triumph and Tragedy, Direct Edition. like this cover. This one's nice. Jump all the way to 397. So we have this one right here. We got that captured by what? Lady Octopus or whatever. The last Spidey Doc Ock saga of all time begins here. But first, the dying Spidey's got to get past Stunner. Oh, it's Stunner. I remember she was most recently in a book. I think Dan Slott wrote her in. Right? That's pretty cool. And then last but not least, the final book that we will be discussing here today, guys. Good place to leave off. It's issue 400. <laughs> I never really liked this cover. Actually, seeing it on on camera does more justice than it does like when I'm looking at it. It actually shows Spider-Man there more on that grave than anything. But yeah, but that's the monumental 400. Nothing for nothing. Issue 300 is much better than this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the gimmick man that was the gimmick so there you guys have it there is this week's episode of my entire spidey collection 
We're going to continue on 401. Again, guys, this is just a series that I do truly for fun. I love showing off this collection and actually uh, reliving what I have. And then, you know, as I enter my books into CLC, then I can go back and fill in those holes, right? So, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell. Of course, guys, if you love my content, you can keep clicking on it right here. Just click on it. I'm sure you'll find something to watch. And guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, and most importantly, keep reading those comic books. Guys, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.